Oh my goodness me! <laughs> hey man, I'll take a Nimbus rod to start off a new episode of Python's Rum Season 2, ladies and gentlemen. And talking of that, welcome back guys, my name is Python GB and I'm back from a little bit of a hiatus. Now we are looking good today, my friends, because we got a Nimbus rod. And Nimbus rods are amazing, especially for taking down the destroyer with, if you ask me. They're not bad at all. So yeah, guys, welcome back. I apologize for the absence on this channel, but uh, yeah, well, I am back now and all is looking good, my friends. So as always, guys, if you're excited for the episode, if you're excited for my return, I like rating as always would be super, super appreciated. We're starting off once again with a blood moon. I am pretty sure this is like the fourth episode in this series where we've started off with a blood moon. It's a little bit insane, man. I feel like the blood rate, blood rate, the blood moon rate on this world, I feel like it's been like severely buffed or something. But yeah, the Halloween event is now over, guys, and I am back to having my familiar outfit. Ah, freaking me. Oh no, the Tinkerer was taken out the game. Oh dear. Well, damn. And I'm probably going to be taken out the game as well. Oh, come on. No. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please, please, please. Don't kill me. I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, guys, I just got the Sun God mask, and you know, you know what that means, don't you guys? You know what that means. It's time for the return of Python the Sun God at long last. <laughs> oh, mate, I completely forgot that that was a mask you could get from those uh, ghoul dudes. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. <laughs> oh, my God. The collection of rare items continues to stack up. I am not, I am, I'm, I'm not, I'm not heartbroken about this. I just got myself an icicle. We got an icicle and we also have ourselves a Nimbus rod. Not bad. And of course, the Sun God mask. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So now that all that is out of the way, we can actually get into what we're going to be doing in today's episode, which is we are actually near original spawn and the original houses because today, my friends, I think it is about time we started to make ourselves a bit of a subscriber uh, common question of the video house because as you guys know, the common question of the video signs have just been sort of roaming around on the world. Uh, with no real, you know, with no real place to be, you know, we've got a bunch here, we've got a bunch over at the desert meteor base, they're, they're, they're all over the place, my friends, and it's about time that we had a centralized place for them all, because I feel like it will be doing you guys a little bit more justice if the signs were in a proper house, so, yeah, but anyways, guys, while we're going out and doing a little bit of terraforming here, I can get into the, you know, the real nitty gritty as to why I've had a bit of a break, and, well, to, to tell you guys the absolute God's honest truth, it's because I have not been able to work out my workflow slash time very well. Now, for those of you guys who are unaware, up until the end of this year, officially speaking, I have absolutely, and I mean it when I say this, I have no, zero, no weekends left where I have nothing on. And therefore, I'm having to do a lot of pre-recording so I can ensure that you guys have a bunch of content as to, you know, while I'm out, uh, you know, doing whatever it is I'm going to be doing. For example, I'm going to be visiting family for Christmas. I'm going to be having, uh, you know, I'm going to be having my girlfriend's relatives over for dinner. All sorts of various bits and bobs. And, well... I know it's not a bigger channel than this one, but I have actually been really, really enjoying making videos for my second channel, which of course is shooters and Call of Duty, all that kind of thing. And I've been really, really enjoying Call of Duty World War II, and I have been putting up daily content over there for the last two weeks or so now. And well, as such, it's kind of gotten to the point where the main channel has kind of, you know, not really had a great deal of attention. And uh, for that, I do apologize. But what you guys have to understand is uh, the amount of time that I have these days is not there, okay? And unfortunately, it's going to continue being the case until New Year's 2018 comes around, okay? So when 2018 comes around, when New Year's comes along, when I have no more things on my schedule to do in terms of like going out, seeing people, all that kind of stuff, uh, then yeah, I'll be able to get back to some sort of normality. I'll be able to maintain all three channels, this channel, the Minecraft channel, and of course, the second channel as well and then all will hopefully be good to go my friends all will hopefully be 
good to go. But it kind of brings me on to a bit of a topic, which is, you know, the whole, you know, going out versus being a YouTuber thing. Because for those of you guys who don't know, being a full-time YouTuber, it's, it's not just, you know, a full-time job, okay? It is a life job. It is a life job. You have no set hours, which in some cases could be really, really good. But in some cases, it could be really, really bad. Because for the most part, and I have had a bunch of my YouTuber friends say that, you know, sometimes they have like over 12-hour days, 14-hour days, even 16-hour days to the point where they are spending literally the entire day doing YouTube. And it really is a major, major grind. So there is a very fine line between being happy and enjoying what you do versus, you know, keeping your channel's audience happy. And well, I've always tried to prioritize keeping you guys happy. It's something I've always tried to do because, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this thing in the first place. But on the same token, by doing that, I'm sort of demeaning what it means for me to be a full-time YouTuber, which, you know, for me is to enjoy what I'm doing. And for me, I have been really enjoying making Call of Duty World War II videos because I've been really, really enjoying the game. So, I don't know, man. There's a really, really fine line between the two. And <laughs> it's difficult, man. It is difficult. I will say that. Being a full-time YouTuber, it is difficult. Some people construe it as being one of the easiest things in the entire world to do. And and let me tell you something, guys. It is not. It is not an easy thing to do. It is not for the faint-hearted. It is not for people who can't take criticism, who don't have a thick skin already. It is something that... Uh, it's difficult. It is. It's difficult. Trying to maintain your happiness while trying to maintain your channel's growth and therefore your income and therefore the ability to be able to put food on your table. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. There is, a, there is a fine line. There is a fine line. But uh, yeah, like I say, when New Year's 2018 comes around, my friends, and I'm able to get back to a proper working schedule, then yeah, everything will be good to go. I'm going to be happy again, and then everything will be good to go. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've said good to go way too many times. And for that, I apologize. Lol. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, so yeah, I'm making myself a little bit of a build here, because why the heck not? But this isn't actually looking that good, is it? I really don't like the fact that there's a gap going on here. Can you guys see this? There's like a gap going on between the roof. Hmm. This is not looking as good as I thought it would, if I'm entirely honest with you guys. Like, there is something fundamentally wrong with this build, and I can't quite figure it out. This is the problem with me building on camera. Most of the time, I literally don't have any idea as to what kind of build I want to be doing. And in this case, it's kind of the same, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just, I don't know. Just sometimes I can build on camera if I actually know what I'm doing. And then other times I'm just like, nah, man, what the hell am I doing with myself? <laughs> Oh dear, my dear. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a bit of a progress up there. I'm going to work on this just a little bit, and then I'll see you guys in just a mo. Alrighty, guys, so the frame of this building has been done. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually in the process of making some little areas to put some trophies down. I decided to maybe double up this little, uh, well, I shouldn't say it's little. I mean, it's quite massive, actually. I mean, look at it. Go all the way up here. Like, there's a lot of space within this build, my friend. So I kind of decided, hey, why don't we go ahead and double this up as a bit of a trophy display area as well. And then, yeah, we'll use the top area, which is still quite large anyway. We'll use the top area to go ahead and make ourselves an area to have all of your common questions in the video areas. So, yeah, all is good. But, uh, yeah, one thing I don't want you guys to take away from what I was saying just then is uh, I do like socializing. I do. I just really don't like the fact that it disrupts my workflow because for those of you guys who don't know, I, I'm a person who enjoys sticking to a tight and rugged schedule, okay? If my if my schedule is affected in any way, then I, I, I get a bit cranky. I do. I get a little bit cranky because it means that my workflow is just disrupted and I enjoy being in the flow because being in the flow means that I'm able to go ahead and get videos done easier, quicker, better and more efficiently and you know like I say going ahead and going out and doing all this kind of stuff kind of affects that and it sucks. It does but you know 
it kind of comes back to the old saying, you know, you can't have everything in the world, can you? So I either disrupt my work schedule so I can go see people, or I be an antisocial bum who just does YouTube his entire life and doesn't go out and see anyone. Uh, let's just be frank here. I don't think anybody would like anybody who does that. So, you know, what can I do? Hmm? What can I do? Anyways, uh, what I am trying to do is I am trying to find a ham axe. Did I sell my ham axe? Mate, surely I didn't. I'm not that stupid, am I? Vanity? Generic? Nah, yeah, man. I think it's actually gone. <laughs> well, then, I guess I'm going to have to make myself another meteor ham axe. Unless, nope, I definitely don't have it. I don't know what the heck I was thinking of. Anyways, uh, yep, there we go. Meteor ham axe, that'll do for now. I just need it so I can uh, cut down some more trees, get some more wood going, and then all will be good. But uh, yeah, like I say, with this area down here, we're having an area for trophy display, and then the top area is going to be for common question of the video display. So yeah, it's going to be a fairly full-featured place, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right, guys, so this is the progress that I have been making. I've actually gotten a little bit carried away off camera. I've made quite a lot of progress just in the process of adding in the areas where the signs are going to go. I left a bit of a space up here because I wanted to put down some uh, little chandeliers dangling down from this thing. So that'll look kind of nice. Okay. So, currently, there are 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50, 50. I think there's 58 spots here. So, we've got like a 5x5, five 5x5, by five, five by five, so that's 50. And then we've got 8 here. So, yeah, 58. We've got 58 spaces for common question of the videos. And uh, that's not to say that this series is going to last 58 episodes. Uh, obviously, if we need to extend, then we'll extend. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, just for now, this is going to do the job for quite a while, I imagine. So, yeah. Kind of cool, kind of cool. And I imagine that this top section here, maybe what we can do is uh, add in a little bit of a ceiling roof kind of deal. Maybe we can uh, do a little bit of this. Uh, we need to add in a little section where we can get in and out of this place, obviously. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing a little bit of this. Smooth it out. There we go. Boom and a boom. All right, okay, good. Uh, we've got to make that go into a bit of a slope there. We've got to get two of these here. There we go, and then of course the rest of it can just go rather like this. Yeah, okay, cool, looking good, looking good. Although maybe I could go ahead and put a bit there as well. And then maybe, uh, maybe I could also put one here and then smooth it out. Yeah, that actually works really, really nicely. Ah, oh, man, I love it when I come up with cool ideas on camera. It makes me feel smart, my friends. It makes me feel smart. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this build so far. I'm, I'm rather enjoying it. I'm rather enjoying getting slowly and surely back into the swing of Terraria. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Get this little uh, build going here. That bit was going to be replaced, was it not? Uh, let's get a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Okay, and then, of course... A little bit of this, and then that. Yeah, and then once again, smooth that out. And there we go, my friends. We've got ourselves a little attic section over here. Not entirely sure what I want to put up in here just yet. I'm thinking very simply maybe just put in a little decorative area with some, uh, with some like, windows and some flower pots, all sorts of stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think the time has come for us to start moving over the common question of the video signs over to this area. And, yes, it's probably going to be difficult, but I'm probably just going to go into, like, notepad or something, copy down all the questions, and then uh, do them as we go along. So, yeah, give me a sec, guys. We'll get this thing rolling. All right, guys. How about it, eh? We've almost got this thing finished. We're just going to go ahead and start putting in some of these here windows. I put the wood there as a bit of a placeholder, if you haven't realized already. So let's just go ahead and uh, replace all of these with glass. And then, of course, we need to get some lighting up in here. And then, yeah, we'll pretty much be good to go in terms of this build. Like, we're pretty much done with this thing. I've got all of the common questions of the videos all uh, pulled over, as you can see. All over here, all the way up to today's episode, of course, which we'll get into in just just a hot second, but before we do that, let's go ahead and continue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So we've got nine in total, and then we'll have a couple of books here, because why not? And then we also need to start thinking about our lighting solution. So we can have a chandelier here, and because, I mean, sadly, this area is not three blocks wide, this part is, I guess, which I guess is kind of cool. Hmm. How are you going to get around that? I don't know. And actually, no, hey, buddy. I'm going to kill you, though. You're going to get destroyed. Yeah, get freaking wrecked, 
sunny gym. All right, so if I head back to base, my meteor base, do I have myself like a whole bunch of chandeliers? Did I like, uh, I've got myself some. Uh, oh, that's it though, I've only got two. Wow, okay, Python, you've really outdone yourself, haven't you? Oh no, hang on, no, there's a platinum one right there, which I guess is kind of okay. Uh, uh yeah, that really is it. <laughs> Really clutching at straws there, huh? All right, well, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Let's get back over there. We'll uh, put down them chandeliers, and then, yeah, we'll move on. Hello, traveling merchant. What have you got for me today, good sir? Uh, pretty much nothing that I don't already have. Okay, fantastic. Uh, although, actually, I haven't got the speed thing. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me just take, care that. take out this poor sap real quick. Go on, get out of here, buddy. All right, so, hey, buddy. Uh, no, you. You there, you there. You're going to give me the stopwatch. Yes, there we go. All right, now then. Uh, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much all we have. Uh, we can buy ourselves a little bit more food. Why not? For constant buffs. And, yeah, all is good. Anyway, so, let's get over here. We'll start placing in some of these here chandeliers. Uh, maybe we'll put one up here as well. And then we'll put the platinum one way up top. In the top center, uh, like that. There we go. I've just realized the, the the clay part, it won't be able to grow, will it? Hmm. I don't goofed up here, haven't I? I've goofed up. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, common question of the video, shall we? Which is coming from Leaf.Cal. Python used crystal and icor bullets with the clockwork assault rifle on asphalt blocks against the twins. Easy kill. Absolutely, man. You don't even need asphalt blocks, to be honest with you. You can go ahead and just use the crystal and icor bullets and use uh, any wings you may have to, to, you know, dodge the twins' attacks. So, yeah, I'm, that's one of the reasons I'm really glad I got the clockwork assault rifle from the Wall of Flesh. Because, yeah, like I say... Ico bullets and crystal bullets combined will mean an absolute slaughter fest for pretty much all of the mech bosses. Even the destroyer uh, with its insane health pool uh, will still be able to take him down within a pretty reasonable amount of time, huh? Right, anyways guys, so for the remainder of the episode... Uh, Talking of wings, I said about wings before. I would quite like to do that. I'd quite like to try and grab myself some wings and, uh, you know, do, do, do stuff. Yes. It is that time. We need to kill a bunch of wyverns. Oh, hello. There's a lot of dudes here. Ah, oh, man. I don't have my freaking bug net on me, though. Well, that's a bunch of poo, isn't it? Anyways, uh, where is the nearest skyland? There's one up there. And there's, like, one just up there. Ah, <sighs> if only I had some freaking string around here. Not string. Rope. If I had rope around here, I'd be up there killing freaking wyverns right now. But, sadly not. <laughs> oh, hey there, buddy! There's a wyvern, guys! We've got to be careful about this bad boy. I think he's... How much health does he have? 8,000, isn't it? 8,000 on expert mode compared to just 4,000 in regular mode. This might actually take a little bit of time, huh? Hey, buddy! Come on, then! The icicle and the nimbus rod are definitely doing their job, though. Look at that. The piercing damage is very, very real. And I love it. I love it very much. Get wrecked, you freaking butt! I need to get 20 of these things. Only 20. There we go. How much is that? 12. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So, a minimum of one more wyvern needs to be taken down. I can't remember what the lower end of the amount of souls of flight you can get from wyverns and expert mode is. But I know maximum you can actually get 20 in one go. I believe. Anyway. So, yeah. But yeah we're on a skyland right now, my friends. And believe it or not, this one is directly above our elevator. So, can you imagine... We could go all the way from the top of the world. We could drop all the way down. Oh, Jesus Christ. We could go all the way down. And then we could just, like, do cool stuff and stuff. So I'm distracted. Now, I have to kill this guy very, very quickly. Hopefully, I'm not get killed. Because otherwise, I'm going to get a little bit annoyed. Hello. Hi. Please get killed, sir. You need to. You need to be killed. Okay. Okay. About 40 seconds until I have the ability to heal up. Okay, I mean as long as I time my jumps absolutely perfectly, it should not be that bad. Alright, so it's probably going to come up from there, there we go. And come on buddy, another little sweep for you. And this is probably going to be your final sweep as well. Get freaking wrecked! There you go. That's all we need guys, that's all we need. So what we need now is some sort of feather, so if we could get like a giant harpy feather or something like that. That would be really quite cool. I don't know what the percentage drop chance for those things are on expert mode. But, but of course, you know, since it is expert mode, it's going to be increased compared to normal mode, right? So, yeah. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. I just gotta just gotta keep farming these dudes out. If not, then maybe we can wait for it to rain. We can go to the uh, ice slash snow biome, and then uh, you know do a bit of farming there. Maybe get an ice feather. So you know, be kind of cool to get one of these things. Whoa! Hey, that's more like it. She's got a mechanical worm from one of the harpies. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Not freaking bad at all. Right, let's put down this banner. Let's do some more damage to these fools, because they deserve it. <laughs> well, change of plan. It would appear that it's just started raining, which of course means if we head over to the snow biome, we may be able to start getting some ice golems to spawn. Maybe we can get an ice feather and make ourselves among some of the best early hard mode wings you can get, which are, of course... The ice wings. I'm not sure how the leaf wings compared to them actually to be honest with you uh, But you know, it's all about experimenting finding these things out <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can't get ourselves an ice golem to spawn and let's see about kicking some butt Ah, you little scumbag. I found you. I found you. I've also uh, prepared for this moment in that if I go down here Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's just that's just unfair that is Doing that, bro? Mate! Nah, dude, nah, dude. He's about to fall all the way down, dude. Oh, I ain't about this life. Go on, then. You wanna go? You wanna go? I'm ready for you, son! Go on! Oh, goddamn, I've been frozen in place. This is the worst guy. No! Nope! Nope! Can I, like, do something here? If I, like, do this, can I, like, like, farm him? I hope so, because I'm gonna. Yeah, it's more like it. Let's get ourselves a bit more damage like that. That's more like it, isn't it? Well, I mean, this isn't the place I was expected to take down an ice golem, I'll be honest with you guys. But you know what? It works. What did we get? Oh, my God. The first time we take him down and we get the freaking ice feather. Let's go, man. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know what that means? It means we can do a little bit. Oh, hello. We can get one of these as well. Okay, cool. But, you know, chief among which the best thing to get is this thing here. The frozen wings, guys. How about that? I think that now makes my uh, balloon pretty much defunct. Right, let's see what we get from this. Hard. One defense. Melee. Uh, uh, more crit chance. Why not? Let's go for it. Uh, right, do we still want to have hive packs? I don't think we need the hive pack. So yeah, we should be able to get some pretty serious air now. So let's go and give it a go. Hello! Wee wee! Up we go, boys! Yeah! Guys, our mobility points have just increased by 9,000. Aw, oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, though, on that successful note, it is going to be time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course you are excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And you know what? Let's just quickly try and take this guy out if we can. Although it's probably going to result in my incarceration, is it not? I don't know man. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. We, we we could be lucky. I mean, he hasn't hit us so far. He's got like the aim of a stormtrooper. He's pretty damn bad, huh? I mean, this guy's not even putting up a challenge. What is he even doing with his life? I have no idea. <laughs> well, I mean, all I can do at this point is just wait. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's kill this guy and let's end off the episode. And get wrecked. Oh, what the hell? Another ice feather? Wow, what's the chances of that actually happening? We've got two ice feathers from two ice golems. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all, guys. But thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. I really appreciate you guys' patience as well while I've been away. But rest assured, we should be back to somewhat regular, uh, you know, schedule. So, yeah. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.